Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here where we've been asked to calculate the value of the unknown side of this right angle triangle. So when you have a right angle triangle and you know two of the sides and you're trying to find the third side, then we are looking at Pythagoras' theorem. And Pythagoras' theorem says the sum of the squares of these two sides is equal to the square of the third side. And it's usually written as c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So a and b represents the two shorter sides, and c represents the hypotenuse, or the longest side. And we square these two, add them together, and that will be the same as the square of the third side, the hypotenuse. So to work this out, I'm going to label my sides. I'm going to label my hypotenuse c. Hypotenuse is always c. And I'm going to label my two short sides a and b doesn't matter which one here is a and which one is b. We can then work this out. So c squared is the first thing. I don't know what c is, so I'm just going to fill in c squared equals. I know what a is. a was this side down here, because that's what I said it was going to be. That's what I labeled my triangle to be. So I'm going to call a squared is now going to be 6 squared plus b. b is this side over here. So I've got 8 squared. So now I can start working this out. I filled in my information and now I can see I can do my squares and then an addition. So working this out I still have c squared, I haven't done anything with that. But now I can do 6 squared. 6 squared is 6 times 6. So 6 squared equals 6 times 6 which is 36. So I can have 36 and then I'm going to add on to that 8 squared. 8 squared is 8 times 8, which equals 64. So I can add on 64. So now that I've done my squares, I can do my addition. So I still have c squared, but now my addition shows me the fact that 36 plus 64, I have c squared equals 100. Now, we have c squared here. I don't want c squared, I just want c on its own. So I'm not going to stop here. I now need to undo this squared. To undo that squared, I need to do the opposite of squaring, which is square rooting. So c on its own is going to be the square root of 100. So the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So now lastly, I can write my answer. I know that c equals the square root of 100, which is 10, and have my units centimeters. And that's how we use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse of a right-angle triangle.